for the time. It's time you weren't here. I'm doing a Christmas list, That lot. You've got no chance. It's the start of Christmas Eve magic. Oh, it's great when they're little, isn't it? Yeah, they're not the same when they're older. No, they just whinge on for more, more, more. Oh, Jack, for goodness sake. That is the thought that counts, though. If we've money to spend, we should be over at John Wiley's. John Wiley? Yeah, he's selling off a few bits and pieces to make ends meet. Could pick up the odd bargain. It's a bit dog eat dog. Could say you're helping him out. You know, cash flow. <laughs> Prolonging the agony more like it. Well, all I can say is we owe the kids a decent Christmas. Yeah, heaven forbid they should ever have to face up to reality. Come on, Victoria. Bye. You can still find you something to do. Oi, you go steady on that gear. Oi, 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 get off that before you cause any damage. Just what I've been telling them, one of them's going to finish up in hospital. You should leave it lying around then, should you? You cheeky... Put that down, will you? Yeah, and if we get hurt, our parents will sue you. <laughs> for what? For neglect. <laughs> neglect? Yeah, for hundred grand. <laughs> I said put that down. <gasps> My foot! <sighs> No. Now look what you've done. You told her to put that down, love. Any other places? Yeah. Ah, the producer of this farce, if I'm not mistaken. It's not a farce, Eric. It's a pantomime. <sighs> you see, in a farce, the chaos is carefully coiled. Yes, 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 yes. Just make sure you keep the chorus line in order, will you? Come on, Eric. Right, you know you Come on, let's get organised. They're out on the street at night. Can you move some of that stuff over you to just one side, please. Can you? Robert. Donna, Hi, Ashley. Yeah, um, you come see the rehearsal? Yes, I'd rather like to okay. see what they've come up with. Right, come on. Let's get going. Oh, let me pull you another large one, Ashley. Looking all sad. Well, Bernice, I'm a bit sad. Oh, my Gavin's never sad. Oh, uh, well, come to think of it, I am totally sad. Um, I don't really have a life. Um, my passion, darling. So, how's it coming along? <laughs> uh, we're still at the planning stage. The planning stage? I was hoping to see a copy of the uh, script. Just to get some idea of how long it's likely to run. Um, well, is tomorrow any good? I suppose it'll have to be. Bye. <laughs> Not as long as Dad doesn't give him a copy. <laughs> Ooh, the ghost of Christmas pear. Right, you lot. Only get paid till half past. Time you weren't here. It's just when we were getting it sorted. Come on, don't keep Mr Armstrong waiting. Well, I've had enough anyway. I'm starving. Me too. Yeah, come on, Rob. I'm going up Jack with them Christmas decorations. I don't know what you're so excited about. It's going to be a rubbish Christmas anyway with them two always arguing. Well, at least you haven't got Kelly always moaning on. There's no money. Well, you don't need to be rich to have a happy Christmas. Oh, little boy wants to play happy families. Well, at least Jack's trying. Yeah, trying to kid you that you're in for a good time. Yeah, so you don't give up before you even started. Yeah. Uh, uh, look, my partner's away at the moment. Uh, can I get back to you on this? Right, come on. If we crack on, we can have this done before Sarah comes back from shopping. Can we get some new stuff? It's well tatty, that. <sighs> the tat of Christmas past. <laughs> hey, well, now you mention it, I did get something new. Balloons. Yeah, right. You know, when I was your age... We used to make, make our, our own, own fun. fun. Make our own decorations, I was going to say. I remember these from last year and the year before. Yeah, well, you would do. Your mum and I made them when you were still in your pram. We thought if we made something new every year... I'm making something at school. Oh. What's that, sweetheart? It's a fairy for the top of the tree. Mm. Oh. Nice. You know, there's a pump somewhere. <coughs> Thank you. You know, when we were saying it wouldn't be much of a Christmas with no money, when I was your age, we never had a lot. So what's been your favourite Christmas present, then? Oh, my best ever. Yeah. Oh, it must be my cowboy gun with the blue caps. Didn't half go off with a bang then. I used to wake up half the household Christmas morning. Daddy, how do you get your favourite present? I well, only have to write a letter to Santa Claus. I made him a list. Oh, well, you have to write him a letter, 
and tell him what a good girl you've been all year. <laughs> but what if I've been naughty? That would be lying. Now, it isn't lying if I write it, is it? Mm. Right. Dear Santa Claus, have you been a good girl this year? Yes. Right, then we'll start with that, eh? Dear Santa Claus. 